Hey everyone, this is Michael Trithart, National Technology Instructor. I want to talk with you a little bit about something very exciting for Keller Williams. We are on the verge of the mobile app being released for every single agent in our company. Very exciting news, good stuff that's going to help you guys uh, with your buyers and everything else that's out there. And it's, it's going to be a great way to market, your, market yourself. But we still have a lot of people that need to go in and make sure that they are set up to start to use their mobile app. So let me just walk you through some of the basic steps, some marketing tips, and then we'll get uh, we'll get into some of the other items that possibly my team can help you with as well. So if you look right here, I've logged in kw.com. We come over to where, to where it says uh, my marketing, hit the plus sign, and I'm going to go this time to where it says manage e agency website. Wolfnet is going to be the property search for the mobile app if Wolfnet is available in your market uh, market area, your MLS. If it's not, then it's going to then it's going to be powered up by the property searches from KWLS. But the majority out there, you're going to be able to use Wolfnet. Now, when we come over and we look at our e agency setup on the left hand side, where it says 4.0, 4.1, make sure that you have Wolfnet set up. If you are seeing a screen that looks like this, you are not set up. You are not ready for the mobile app. You have to have a Wolfnet URL in that first line. So make sure you're following the directions here on step 4.1. Now, uh, the word on the street is tonight, after this video that I'm doing right now is created, you will be able to go in on 4.5 and, and go in and see the mobile URL, the mobile text code, and the QR code. So you're going to be able to see that your mobile device has been activated. You're also going to see some marketing pieces, such as the QR code, which can be put onto property flyers. You can put on your business cards, postcards. You can also come over here and you can have the URL link. This is what uh, uh, people are going to be able to just click on and go straight to your mobile device. That can be added to your eEdge email footers, your postcard footers, your uh, email signatures. You can put that anywhere and you need to put that everywhere. You're going to be able to market these on your eEdge sites, your eAgency sites. Pretty much any conversation that you have with somebody uh, on the phone, via email, uh, sending out something, print material, whatever, website, you need to have this mobile advertisement everywhere. So if we come back over here and we get into eEdge itself, we'll just come up here to where it says My Marketing, and we get into where it says Manage eEdge Website. I'm going to be able to put some information on the website. I'm going to be able to come over here, uh, put it into my email signature. But a nice little tip that most people don't take advantage of is if I come over to where it says Create Marketing, and I go to where it says marketing materials I will have the ability to go in let's say we want to pull up a postcard and let's say that we're going to do a uh, just sold just listed doesn't matter just click on one of them we can go in and hit create edit and it's going to allow us to go in and edit that postcard give it a second for it to load up here and while it's loading I think everybody knows, if you've been into eEdge before, you know that you can edit the front of the card, you can edit the back of the card, but one of the things that people just don't take advantage of is the email footers. And give it a second here to load. Once we have the start editing button, which is right here, and I come over to where it says email footer, I click on that. I can go in and I can edit whatever is here, and I can add in a call to action download my new mobile search app and have that link in there phrase it any way that you want to and then I come over and I click on the little piece of paper with the little sprocket in front of it that says save or load another back or footer and if I click that I will have the ability to save this footer as my primary with mobile app or whatever you want to call it you can see I've created one earlier called my best footer ever so you can go in and you can store all of your different email and postcard footers with different calls to actions and so I can then start to apply that to all my other marketing pieces and so that's another great kind of outside the box type of thinking when it comes to marketing your uh, your mobile app now one of the things that one of the new designers on my team can assist you with is she can go in and she can get these email footers set up for you she can go in and make sure that your QR code is showing properly she can go in and make sure that that you have all of the back end office information set up properly in eEdge. 
You've got your contacts in there. They've been imported. You've got them organized by the groups that you need to have them organized by. You've got uh, your email configured properly so you're not missing anything. You've got uh, all the new leads coming in from Trulia and Realtor.com and, and Zillow set up properly. She basically can go into the back office, flip on all the switches, and help you get that designed. If that's something that you're interested in, interested in knowing more about, all you have to do is come over to where it says MichaelTreadhart.com. Click on Website and Social Media Enhancements, click that option, and then you will see an E-Edge Full Service Option button inside there. All you got to do is click on it, fill in the form, let us know you're interested, and she'll be in touch. And good luck with your new mobile app. It's going to be exciting times for Keller Williams agents. And if we can help you out in any way in your E-Edge back office or helping you to market that QR code, please do not hesitate to contact us. Thank you so much. Bye.